Hello, everyone. Welcome to our immersive English speaking practice session. Today, we have an exciting three part exercise that will not only sharpen your listening skills, but also boost your speaking confidence. Part one English listening practice with conversations. Part two English speaking practice by answering questions. Part three English speaking practice with the shadowing method. This video is designed for you to watch repeatedly over the next few days. So let's embark on this language learning journey together. Without further ado, let's jump into part one. Part one listening to the conversation. In part one, you will eavesdrop on a daily English conversation between native speakers. Try to focus on the meaning of the conversation when you listen to it. Don't worry if you miss a word or two. The goal is to immerse yourself in the language. After the conversation, we'll move on to part two, where you'll actively participate by answering some easy questions out loud. Are you ready? Let's begin. Bite off more than you can chew. Bite off more than you can chew means trying to do something that is too difficult or taking on too many tasks and then realizing it's harder than you expected. It's like putting too much food in your mouth at once and struggling to eat it all. Hey, Tom, how's the new job going? Hi, Lisa. It's overwhelming, to be honest. I think I bit off more than I can chew with this project they assigned me. Really? What happened? Well, I underestimated the workload. Thought I could handle it all, but there's just too much to do. It happens, Tom. Maybe you can ask for some help or break it down into smaller tasks. Yeah, you're right. I need to take a step back and figure out a plan. I don't want to mess things up. Don't worry, Tom. We all face challenges. Just tackle one thing at a time and you'll get through it. Part two, answering questions. Great job on part one. Now in part two, it's your time to shine. Answer a series of easy questions out loud related to the conversation you just heard. Don't be shy. Speaking out loud is key to improving your English fluency. Feel free to pause and rewind as needed. Answer the questions out loud. Hey, Tom, how's the new job going? Hi, Lisa. It's overwhelming, to be honest. Did Lisa ask about Tom's new job? Yes, she did. She asked about Tom's new job. Did Tom say the project was easy? No, he didn't. He said the project was overwhelming. I think I bit off more than I can chew with this project they assigned me. Why did Tom find his new job overwhelming? Because he underestimated the workload for the assigned project. Really? What happened? 
Well, I underestimated the workload. Thought I could handle it all, but there's just too much to do. It happens, Tom. Maybe you can ask for some help or break it down into smaller tasks. What did Lisa suggest as a possible solution for Tom? She suggested asking for help or breaking down the tasks into smaller ones. Yeah, you're right. I need to take a step back and figure out a plan. I don't want to mess things up. Don't worry, Tom. We all face challenges. Did Tom mention feeling stressed? Yes, he did. He mentioned feeling stressed. Did Lisa reassure Tom about facing challenges? Yes, she did. She reassured Tom about facing challenges. Really? What happened? Well, I underestimated the workload. Thought I could handle it all, but there's just too much to do. Why did Tom find the project overwhelming? Because he underestimated the workload. Hi, Lisa. It's overwhelming, to be honest. I think I bit off more than I can chew with this project they assigned me. Did Tom express regret about taking on the assigned project? Yes, he did. He felt he bit off more than he could chew. I think I bit off more than I can chew with this project they assigned me. Really? What happened? Is Lisa curious about what happened with Tom's project? Yes, she is. She asked him what happened. Did Tom overestimate the workload for his project? No, he underestimated it. He thought he could handle it all. It happens, Tom. Maybe you can ask for some help or break it down into smaller tasks. Yeah, you're right. I need to take a step back and figure out a plan. I don't want to mess things up. Did Lisa suggest asking for help or breaking down the tasks? Yes, she did. She advised Tom to consider those options. Is Lisa indifferent to Tom's struggles at the new job? No, she's not. She offered advice and support. Did Tom say he wanted to quit the new job? No, he didn't. He expressed a need to figure out a plan. Don't worry, Tom. We all face challenges. Just tackle one thing at a time and you'll get through it. Did Lisa imply that everyone at work faces similar challenges? Yes, she did. She said, we all face challenges. Why does Tom feel the need to take a step back? Because he doesn't want to mess things up and needs to figure out a plan. Repeat this exercise until you say the answers fluently and confidently. Part 3. Shadowing Practice Congratulations on reaching the final stretch. Part 3. Repeat the lines of the conversation out loud, trying to match the native speaker's tone and pronunciation. Focus on the rhythm and intonation of the English expressions and sentences. 
This exercise will not only enhance your speaking abilities, but also improve your overall language rhythm. Hey, Tom, how's the new job going? Really? What happened? It happens, Tom. Maybe you can ask for some help or break it down into smaller tasks. Don't worry, Tom. We all face challenges. Just tackle one thing at a time and you'll get through it. Hi, Lisa. It's overwhelming, to be honest. I think I bit off more than I can chew with this project they assigned me. Well, I underestimated the workload. Thought I could handle it all, but there's just too much to do. Yeah, you're right. I need to take a step back and figure out a plan. I don't want to mess things up. Fantastic job, guys! You've completed our immersive English speaking practice session. Keep watching, listening, and speaking. Your dedication will undoubtedly lead to remarkable progress. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more engaging language learning content. Until next time, keep practicing, stay motivated and enjoy your journey to English fluency. Happy learning! Thanks for watching, guys! Now, I recommend you watch this great video, too. It will help you to improve your English skills, and you will love it, I promise.